everyone. Welcome to Close Up on America's Business, the program that takes you inside some of the most unique and successful companies in America. I'm Janice Marie. On each edition of our show, you have the opportunity to meet some of the most innovative business leaders in the country today. You'll find out what their products, services, technologies, and business models can do for you, and what they're doing to change our world and to change the way we do business. It is something that is bound to happen whenever a group of people who love food, especially Italian food, gather around to talk. Sure enough, at some point, someone will stand up and say, you know, my grandmother made the best spaghetti sauce in the world. But when Patrick Palmieri of New Haven, Connecticut, starts talking about his grandmother's sauce, he's not just bragging, he is very serious. Because for over 87 years, his company has been making and selling the spaghetti sauce based on the recipe his grandmother created back in 1920. Today, a wide variety of Palmieri sauces are bottled and sold in stores throughout the northeastern United States, and all of them essentially based on that original recipe his grandmother created so many years ago. It's a remarkable story of a family-owned company, and today, Patrick is the third-generation president of this Palmieri Food Products Company. began when my grandmother was cooking for the family in the back of her little grocery store in the 1920s. And they would all come in and they would eat. You know, my grandmother would always have sauce cooking and people would come into the store, they would smell the sauce cooking. Some people didn't have the time to stew the tomatoes down. So they asked my grandmother, Anna, Anna, can I get some sauce? And Anna said, sure. And she started it putting it in the little bottles for them. And before you know it, the people were dropping the bottle off in the morning, a jelly jar, a peanut butter jar. Anna would fill it up in the course of the day, put it on the shelf. When they came home, walking by the store after work, they would go to the shelf and they would recognize the jar that they gave my grandmother in the morning and they'd grab it and they'd grab a loaf of bread and some pasta and they, and they would go home and have dinner and the sauce was already made. And that was the beginning of uh, the Palmieri sauce. And now, I mean, it's, what, 87 years later, are you still using basically the same recipe, the same ingredients? The same recipe with the spices and the onions and the garlic. We make sure that the tomatoes are picked ripe and they have the grade A color so that natural sugars are in the tomatoes and it's not necessary to uh, sweeten up the tomatoes with a sugar or a corn syrup. And all of that is the same. The only thing I've changed was she used to cure suet with the onions and garlic for the, uh, for the fat in the sauce, and I replaced the, the suet with extra virgin olive oil and canola oil, which are much, much more healthier for you. Tell me a little bit about the various products, because you've got a lot of them, that the company offers now. We have 12 flavors of red sauces. We also do a fabulous salsa, and we do a barbecue sauce. We do a buffalo chicken wing sauce. We do Andrew's uh, horseradish and cocktail sauce. And one of the great customers we have is uh, the Fairway uh, stores in Manhattan. Once I, once I develop a recipe for a company and they've accepted it, they own that recipe from that time on. It's theirs, and I'll never make it for anybody but them. I've been buying uh, our sauces from Palmieri. We've had them co-pack our sauces for many years now. Um, they're an extremely important part of our business in that we put our name on, on the jar. Uh, and it happens to be an item that's very, very popular. Uh, so it has to be as good as it can possibly be. Uh, most stores, supermarket chains, are happy to put their name on something that's fine, you know, okay. But that's not good enough for us. We, we want to have uh, the absolute best pasta sauce we could possibly have. And we did it from day one, and we did it because of Palmieri. And it, it happened because Mr. Palmieri understands how important the ingredients are. We're sticklers about ingredients. We're specialists as regards ingredients in all forms of food, but most particularly with European style stuff. So it's important that the product have the very best olive oil, and the very best tomatoes, and the very highest end herbs and spices we can buy. We use the sauces in our own homes, we know the quality of them because we taste all the other brands. 
none of them can hold a candle to what we do ourselves with Palmieri. In an effort to give back to the community, Palmieri Foods has often worked with various charities, such as the Easter Seal Foundation, when they dedicated a 24-ounce size of their spaghetti sauce to the campaign and the charity shared in the income. Patrick, we're here on the line now. Explain to me the process of how you make the sauce. What's going on? Well, behind us we're mixing up different recipes, and uh, depending on the recipe, uh, you know, dictates to us uh, what's got to go in the tank. Each one of these kettles is a handcrafted uh, sauce uh, by a chef who uh, knows the recipe, and when he gets it all mixed up, uh, he tastes it, makes sure the consistency is right, and uh, the flavor is right. What about the cooking process? I is the sauce being cooked right now? All the sauce is being cooked by steam. So these babies get up, these babies get up to over 200, about, they peak out at about 212 degrees. So when it's mixed thoroughly and it's up to the right temperature, then we can send it over to the filling machine. Patrick, explain to me what's happening here at this point. What's going on on the line? The sauce in the kettles is then pumped over. It's where it's supposed to be. Temperature, flavor, consistency. This machine puts the uh, proper portions in the bottle and then moving on down to the next machine. At this point, after the bottles have been filled, they go to a capping machine. And the capper that we're using uh, runs, has a steam atmosphere that takes the oxygen out from underneath the cap. So that when it makes a seal, uh, there's no oxygen in there to make the uh, product uh, deteriorate. And the bottles are being washed at this point. Yeah, then they go through a, a power wash, a, a blow dry, then they get labeled, coated, they get put back in a box for the next stage is ambering cooling where they get cooled down. We've now reached a much quieter atmosphere having left the assembly line process. You call this the cool down room? This is where we cool down. Really what happens here? We use the ambering cool down, which is just a natural cooling. The sauce actually is continuing to cook as it sits here because the, bot the bottles are still 200 degrees. And then tomorrow morning we'll get proof. And then we check to make sure the uh, cap took a proper seal, proper vacuum. And then before the case gets cold, we know that all 12 bottles have took a proper seal and they're ready for the customers, for the store, ready to be shipped out. someone who is intrigued by this and wants to buy these sauces, especially here in the New Haven area, where can they buy them? Uh, in New Haven, you can get 12 flavors at Romeo and Caesars on Orange Street, also Orange Market, Stop and Shop, the Bizzuto's IGA stores, ShopRite's and Expect Discounts. It's in the uh, BJ's, Costco's and Sam's Club stores. Also, for people who have moved out of Connecticut or where they used to eat the sauce and they've get, they get to their, their new place where they're living, we, we ship a lot of sauce out uh, through the internet. We mail it uh, anywhere in the country. We ship it all over the place. It's a great product, it really is. We're an all natural food packers. Don't allow chemicals or preservatives or tomato extenders or dyes. And it, when you've eaten it, you, you can swear that you somebody made it home you know it's got a very homey homemade taste to it um, it's it's a rare it's a very it's a pl very pleasant experience you know you're tasting a little bit of history the remarkable story of the palmieri food products company which has been making spaghetti sauces since all the way back in 1920 and which is why they say when you enjoy their product you are actually tasting a little bit of history i'm doug llewellyn reporting from new haven connecticut well, that does it for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.